take that down, put that up, because the next anime we're talking about is... Transition. The Bleach Thousand Year Blood War. Episode 16, I believe it is, and it's season 2. Um, so this, this one started off with Mayuri um, back at his office, because the last episode, Uda Hada called, and he was just like, yep, I know how to get back our... I know, but I basically know how to get back our Bankai and to prevent other people from getting their Bankais. So, Mayuri is interested in this because he's sitting there and he's, he's like, oh, you know. But obviously, Mayuri being the prideful man he is doesn't really want to help one help from Urahara or anybody that he considers, like, you know, a nuisance in his side. And he even, like, talks to Urahara. He's like, oh, wow, you did. Well, my thing is. How the hell did you put a de- uh, communication device into my thing? Uh, I don't really, I don't really trust you if you're able to do that. And, and Udahara was like, "Yeah, are you really gonna, are you really gonna risk uh, the potential of getting by your bankai because they put a communication device?" Obviously, um, with as many episodes as Bleach has, Udahara doesn't understand Mayuri at this point because Mayuri would do this. Mayuri would do this because if Udahara would say this, Mayuri says, "Oh, so there is a way to get back our bankai." Well, I don't need your help. I can just figure that out by my own. So. <laughs> Um, but, you know, Urahara being Urahara was always at the 11th Division bunker the entire time. Um, so he was just fucking around, like, just like Urahara would. Um, and so he basically, so he's, we basically get this, like, whole explanation that he built these pills in Waco Mundo, um, in order for the, everyone who has a Bakai. So this is just captains, this is captains, lieutenants. Uh, second in command, third, like third chairman, anyone who's able, who who has the ability to summon and produce a bankai, <clears throat> have to take these pills because, and I didn't necessarily see it, although I kind of understand where, um, where the logic came from, um, but Udahara basically explains that they went to Wake Up Mundo, and while they could take the resurrection, the resurrection. Um, they couldn't, they just decided not to. It's not because they just didn't want to, it's that they couldn't take the Iran card resurrection on, um, for any, <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, for anybody who is, who is new to Bleach or is jumping into Bleach at the Thousand Year Blood War to see, this is probably the most confusing exposition of shit that you will ever hear, because, like, this whole thing basically sums up to, the best way that I can explain it is basically what I was explaining is that, the Quincy's used their ability in order to steal the Soul Reaper's Bankai, but they couldn't steal their wrong cars, Resurrection, because their Resurrection is very toxic to them, <clears throat> is very toxic to them due to how Hullification works, and because Hullification is um, something that Soul Reapers are able to uh, purify, but Quincy's cannot. So Quincy's need in order to execute them, which is why they can't ex- Like, it's more of just like, if you don't know anything about Iran cars, and Soul Reapers and jumping into this is going to be very confusing. Although, I would also recommend if you're jumping in at Thousand, thousand Year Blood War, um, don't do that. That's dumb. Udahara explains that hollows are, t- hollows are toxic to Quincy's. So Quincy's can't take Arankar abilities. So, if you just add a little bit of holification to the Bankais that, that Soul Reapers have, then the Quincy's won't be able to take back Bankai. It's super simple. Just give the Bankai a little bit of holification. The people people are gonna have holification now. Then you're able to just you're just you're just gonna be able to do that. Um, and so everyone just gets dropped these like little pills that they have. Um, they absorb it, and the two that we at least focus on the most, or the ones that we are really focused on seeing, is uh, Sunfoy and Hitsugaya. Uh, Hitsugaya a bit more than Sunfoy. We see the effects happening mostly for those two. Because uh, Soifan gets her Bankai back, which is the big fucking Predator missile that's just on her fucking sleeve. Um, which she hates using because she's part of the Stealth Division and her Bankai literally goes against everything that she does in terms of being the like, leader of the Stealth Division. Um, but still has probably one of the coolest looking Bankais probably. Um, or at least, like, in terms of just, like, simple but effective type of way of just, like, yeah, I have stealth, but I also have this nuke on my arm that if I ever need to shoot it, just pop out. Um, and then Hidjagaya slowly gets his back. My thing is, is 
it kind of bothered me because I had to go back like twice and like pause it just to make sure, right? But the, uh, Urahara says that the Bankais have a little bit of holification. And we see this with Hitsukaya's Bankai because Hitsukaya's Bankai ends up doing the hollow thing where it like hollows out, like either hollows out or it like covers up part of his eye. Um, so for any, any Bleach veterans out there, it looks very similar to Stark's Resurrection, where his his Resurrection was covering his eye, and his eye was, like, kind of hollow. That's what that looked like. That's what that um, hollification to his Bankai looked like. Um, but Soy Font didn't seem like she had any real changes like that. Um, I didn't know if, like, something was happening potentially with her stomach. I didn't really pay attention to that. It was more potential, I'm paying attention to the face, only because... The only other reference to a Bankai going through holification is was Hitsugaya's, and his covered his eye. So I thought something was going to happen to the face or some other thing. Um, I personally like that. <laughs> I personally like the aesthetic of that. Um, and I kind of I kind of wished um, the visors um, Bankai was able to do that. Rose and, and Sinji and I forget his name, but big buff dude who's like sleeves are ripped, who able to do the fighting punch thing. I wish they had, like, something like that, where, you know, they could still use their Bankai, and they, they could still use their hollow abilities, but the Bankai is hollowfied due to their hollow abilities. Which does make me wonder, if Shinji, Rose, and the other dude got their hollow, got their Bankai specifically taken away, would they be affected? Like, would, would would the Quincy's not be able to take them because of that reason? Because part of the reason why they can't take... The part of the reason why they can't take Ichigo's Bankai, I assume, is for a similar reason like that. Um, I guess we don't... I guess we don't really get an explanation or some shit like that. But I, I thought it was, like, something similar to that. I don't remember, really. Um... I mean, fuck it, either way. Um, it makes me wonder if all the visors who are captains, if they got their Bankais taken away, would they would they end up poisoning Quincy? That's actually a legitimate question. Because if that's the case, well, okay, Sinji can't use his Bankai. And we get we get to that, because I, I knew what his Bankai was because of I played Bleach Brave Souls, like, fucking how, however long, long ago. And they show you how his Bankai works. It's actually the first time before the manga we see it properly animated in, like, any sort of way. Um, but then I read the manga, and you know how it is. But um, I played Bleach Brave Souls before I, I read the manga, which kind of made me want to read the manga because I saw that. It's a qu it, it's, I feel like it's, that's an important question to ask, but I digress. So the captains are all getting back their Bankais. They're all, you know freeing themselves and we kind of see them push back a little bit you know Hitsugaya was able to um take care of the dude that took his bankai and Basby kind of ran away so Foy was able to take care of the dude who was giving him giving her and her lieutenant a bit of trouble blowing him to freaking kill. I don't remember her explosion being that big but god damn that was a strong explosion and so we don't really see any other captains get back their bankais yet um, but we see at least the ones that did get it stolen, get it back. Um, the only one that we didn't really see is, I, I hate calling him Doggy because I, I'm supposed to know his name, but, and he's like one of my more favorite captains too, which makes me upset, but, um, we don't get his Bankai yet because he's trying to look for, um, yeah, <laughs> Yiban, Yiban, or the Quincy King. He's looking for the Quincy King, basically. And we kind of see a lot of the... Not a lot of the Quincy struggling, but some of the Quincy is like, you know, they get a little pushback. We see um, the one, the one girl who has like that troop of girls following her. She's now fighting Shinji after he took care of a bunch of people. So basically, when Shinji's bankai is summoned, anyone who is around the vicinity of his bankai um, has distorted, uh, like their mental is distorted over who is their enemy, who is their friend. And basically, they're basically all treating each other like enemies. And so, it's really good for wiping out, like, a shit ton of enemies if, like, he's the only one there. And his makes the most sense why you wouldn't use the bar guy inside the Serate. 
because if he were to do that, then Quincy's and, and Soul Reapers would still be fighting, but then we'd have Quincy's versus Soul Reapers, Soul Reapers versus Soul Reapers, Quincy's versus Quincy's. It'd be very unproductive, which is why he uses it here, because there's only him and a bunch of Quincy's, um, which he wipes out. But he ends up fighting the girl, um, and he uses his Shikai. Now, here's the thing, and we kind of see it here. We kind of see it here a bit, um, although the girl's getting more frustrated because she ran into the doggy and she wanted to fight the doggy, wanted to fight the dog captain, um, but Shinji takes care of it in order for him to find the Quincy King. And so he uses his Shikai, and his Shikai is kind of sort of similar to Aizen's, where Aizen's is very intense in terms of illusions, um, where it's supposed to depict, like, his is more inverting your senses, while Aizen's is more of just, like, disrupting your reality or confusing your reality in order to, on how it works and shit like that. Um, so Shinji's using it. My problem with his is that, like, other than, like, the only time we ever see him really use his Shikai is against Aizen. And Aizen only really figures it out because he has a very similar ability to Shinji's. But my thing with his is, like, if you had someone who has, who is more of a pinpoint accurate fighter or someone who is like relies more on like direct hits that's fine but we've seen this girl this this girl who's fighting him is more of a what do you call it um she can use like aoe abilities his weakness is aoe abilities because it doesn't at that point it doesn't really matter when um it doesn't matter what direction you're facing or what direction he is if it's an AOE ability, it's fine. Like, we even see him, like, end up dodging it. Like, at first, she's trying to, like, hit him, like, directly, but she can't. So, she just ends up using AOE abilities. And there's a point where he dodges, and he says, like, oh, well, I told you, it's not gonna work, you can't fight me. But, like, realistically, if she uses only AOE attacks, like, she can, realistically. But, um, he, he's putting up a good fight. Um, Zone 4 is putting up a good fight. Um, we see three of the lieutenants. Three of the lieutenants that, like, we really know. I forget the names, but it's the bald dude, the flamboyant dude, and the dude that's got, like, the thing around the thing, which I always think is number 69, but I don't think it is. Um, his punk, that man. The dude whose Shikai is, like, two sickle, not two sickles, but two, like, axe weird sickle things and, like, a chain around them. His bonkai. It's sick. That's all I'm gonna say. They're fighting, un they're fighting another stone ridder. Um... Shinji's running this right there. They're all kind of pushing back for the most part, right? And so they're, they're doing they're doing what they can. They're, they're they're starting to push back a little bit, trying to go against the opposition. Um, and th but then once the Bankai's are taken, the Quincy's now are able to use their own power, their own weird power, and all the Quincy lights start blowing up in the air. They got the little like crown thing that the dude in the first season had when they were when Ichigo was fighting them in Waco Mundo. And they were having their own ability, so they're, they're activating their ult. Which, they, there's a name for it, I just forgot it, because I don't pay attention. Um, but they're activating there, so hopefully we'll see more of a, of a real showdown happening. I feel like, okay, I feel like at this point, where everything is kind of more set up for the most part, we did like the three episodes, we kind of understand what's going on. The, um, the captains got their Bankai's back, um, and now they can't take it from them. And the stand are using their own abilities. I think now we're kind of at the point where we should probably start animating more fights and start seeing more shit. Because while I do like exposition, I like Bleach lore, I like Bleach's, you know, explanation of how they do shit. We all can admit that one of the biggest reasons we wanted to see this animated is because this has probably some of the best fights in all of Bleach. Um, I know I'm not the only one with that sentiment. Um, uh, the, the Thousand Year Blood War has one of the best moments some of the best moments in, like, all of Bleach. Only art that I can really think about that compares is the Aron Kart, um saga. That's about it. So, I would very much like for the Thousand Year Blood War to get to that point where we can see most of these captains fighting and doing this stuff. I know this, I think there's, like, one more interaction, there's, like, one more big interaction down the line we'll probably get to. That might be a season three thing, uh, potentially, but I'm not 100% sure. I completely forgot. Um, but... So far, I like this. Again, I would kind of understand people saying, like, uh, it's, a, it's a bit more slow-paced. It's a bit more not going in. Like, you know, it's not, it doesn't feel, feel like it's 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 picking up as much as it was. Um, because the first season does kind of do that. Like, we um, there is the exposition and stuff like that. But eventually, we do get to that big, 
those big heavy like fighting moments where most episodes are just heavy battles and stuff like that. So I think after this episode we should be getting more into that. We should be getting more into the push of that stuff. Uh, hopefully, that's what I'm gonna. That's cause that, that's what I'm hoping for. We still might get more explanation with you know understanding where. Cause remember, there's still Ichigo and Renji and Rukia and Byakuya, um, who are up at the Soul, like the near the Soul King, where like the still like the Soul Kingdom type of fucking place, um, up in the sky. They're there, so they will either play a role later or play a role soonish for the most part. But yeah, that's kind of that's kind of where that is. I liked the episode. I thought it was cool. I thought it was nice seeing uh, seeing all all the guy, all the people get their Bokai back. Um, Hitsu guys, he does have a better form than this down the line. But I think having Hitsu guys' holification look is really cool. I don't know why. I don't know why. But it's just adding that little that little change of him like covering his eye with his eyes. Fucking so cool. <clears throat> it's just genuinely so cool. I love it so much. I don't know why, but the, with that, I, that's probably gonna that's probably gonna be the thumbnail for this video. I'm gonna try my best to find the the Hitsugaya like um the Hitsugaya um holification ice because that that is just so cool. I love that so much. This is such a cool, just such a cool look. But yeah, that's 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 that's, that's the Bleach Thousand Year Blood War.